All right, so I'm gonna talk about foods again. Uh, so there is tavioca, and that's sort of like, man, I, I really don't know what it's like. It's like a root, like this big, and it's, I mean, you cook it, it turns yellowish. Uh, it can turn stringy if you cook it like too long or if it's super soft. So it's kind of like, um, string squash or something I, I don't really know it's it wasn't always my favorite I usually eat it with like curry um i've got a weird craving for dalo or i don't know what uh what else it's called in tonga and samoa something else but it's like it's like a hockey puck it's just like thick but it was like a potato but sometimes slimy for whatever reason, if there was purple, like they'd be like grayish, like blue, which sounds gross. Uh, it doesn't look super appealing, but it was, it was pretty good. Um, and then that was a, a root as well. Then there was a roro or roro, uh, row, row always just makes me feel super American. Uh, <laughs> when I try saying that word, um, that was like the dalu, dalu, dalo uh, plant leaf. And the thing about that is that if you, uh, if you undercooked it, it'd make your gums itch and your throat itch. And if you overcooked it, it'd make your gums itch and your throat itch. Uh, the first time I had itchy roro, I, I really, I was eating it with fish, which isn't deboned in uh, in Fiji, which I'm totally cool with. Um, I mean, you gotta eat like everything, like the fish heart, the fish eye, sometimes. Usually they wouldn't make us Americans eat the fish eye because it's just not something that we're super used to unless we specifically requested it. Um, I didn't eat fish eye a whole lot, but anyways, I was eating this roro with the fish and I thought there's just a bone stuck in my, my gum or something is making it itch. And so then I was trying to, I, I don't know, I kept drinking juice, but that wasn't working and it was just so itchy and I had no idea what was going on. Um, I remember the hot bread kitchen, I believe it was called, man. They had like the, the loaves that they put like some sort of delicious like buttery cream that was sugary as well. You just buy an entire loaf and just eat that all. And then there's like uh, chicken pot pies and sausage rolls and ah uh, man, I miss that food, miss it so much. They didn't, I mean, they didn't really have hamburgers or pizza or donuts. And I'm totally okay with that. I mean, I eat a lot of that now. A lot of pizza. <laughs> Can't tell. And a lot of soda. It's got me pretty, pretty get the level, eh? Um, but, man, that food, so good. I remember one time I was at uh, Tim Lee's place eating dinner and I forgot what it's called, the little rock thing with the little nunu inside. And that was, that, was, that was my adventurous meal, I'd say. Just like digging that out is cooked in coconut, right? Digging it out with the needle. I wasn't super sure what I was gonna be digging out, but I remember just digging it out into slug and just like ate it. Coconut made it taste pretty good swallowed it because I didn't really want to be chewing on on the slug I didn't know what would happen then so I swallowed it and I swear I felt something crawling back up so I just grabbed my drink and like down that and then continued eating my rice and other normal food like fish um, had chicken feet at Timothy's again and shark Timothy pretty awesome and giving us all this uh, varied food and whatnot. Um, what else about the food? Oh yeah, the wadi pokey. 
man, oh, the pauki was so good. Just like get the dollar leaves and then fill it with like corned beef and like tie it up and then enjoy it. That was, that was super good. So was the bunny lolo. Uh, I haven't had that in a really long time. I really should be going back to Fiji one of these days, but I don't know, kind of tough with like a family, you know, saving up and trying to get through school and do all these other payments. So I figure I should just start a savings account, my Fiji getaway for the family, like bring my family to Fiji fund. Um, so yeah, that was, that's the food in Fiji. It's delicious. Um, might be considered bland to some, might uh, have taking used to, but uh, if anyone ever goes down there, I highly recommend the hot bread kitchen. Just anything from there is gonna be super good. I remember there was like a cake with, uh, not, yeah, it was like a cake, but with like um, custard on top. And then I'd always get that with Milo. And that was just, that, that was so, such a good breakfast. We're just eating, got a bowl of Milo, heat it up a little bit and just break some crackers in there. That was pretty good too. Um, so yeah, that's food in Fiji.